เท่าดิเมาเมาเท่าดิ folks things happen for a reason just last week I was out I was heading back this way not even a mile away stopped at a store and there was a guy there with a Honda Shadow and he had had his bike out for the you know first time nice weather and he had left the headlight and the key on and everything and went in the store and been shopping so he came back out dead battery no tools he got he's got side saddle uh bags on this thing and they're really large and he doesn't even have this with him so yeah uh i ran home grabbed this and jumped his bike for him got him running and told him i says you know what you need to do you need one of these it's that time of year yeah Just before we continue, this is what's making all the noise around here. <laughs> Somebody uh, dumped a cat, and uh, she went to uh, she got fixed a couple weeks ago, and she's back. And uh, we were going to classify her as a feral cat, but uh, she seems to really like hanging out with the dog. So, yeah, another another. <laughs> I don't know. One of these days, I'll have to show you. The dog and the cat love to play together, and they like to be together all the time. They're the best of friends. So, yeah, it's a strange one. Yes, you. Anyway, we named you. This is Abby. Say hi, howdy, folks, to Abby. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna get back to car jumping here in a second. <laughs> okay. It's that time of year, and like I said, lawnmowers, motorcycles, cars, RVs, whatever it is you got to crank up. This is the. I got cat hair all over me now. <laughs> whatever you need to crank up, this is what you need. It's a car jumper, and. Um, this one right here, this is the pup deer. They sent this over and not sponsored, we're not paid or whatever, you know, we just sent it over and says, hey, take a look at this thing and see what you think. And I liked it right off the bat as soon as I pulled it out of the box because it has a hard button. And I, like I said, I used it. And so we're going to, I'm gonna put the charger over here with the generator for a minute. We'll measure, it's charging up right now on a USB plug. Let's see how many watts it's drawing. Oh, so there we go. Uh, I'm, hopefully you can see that. That's 16 watts uh, on a USB. So that's pretty good. And it's at, it was at 68%. It's at 91. It's been plugged in for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So pretty soon it'll be up to 100. And uh, at that point, I guess then we'll go out and play with the Jeep or something. See how it does with the Jeep to start it up. Because the Jeep has uh, always had a dead battery. So I like to keep my Jeep with a dead battery, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all charged up 100%. And yeah, there you go. So, the other thing I wanted to talk about in just a second was the name. <laughs> I don't know where they get these names, but this is D Pop Deer. D Pop Deer. Uh, yeah, it's getting worse, isn't it? <laughs> but there it is. There will be a link in the description below where you can find this, and it should be on a great deal. And if there's no coupon there, check back. There may be a uh, discount coupon at some point. I believe it is it's available through Amazon. There'll be a link, that's where it'll go through, I guess. It's with uh, this company, it's not with uh, me or whatever, so that's fine, you know. Uh, the What comes in the box? Well, let's talk about that for a second. Here is the charging cable. It's a little short, yeah, it's, uh, but you know, again, it's uh, you know the USB-C style to uh, a regular, you know, old style <laughs> USB-A. <laughs> And we've got these things laying all over the house, so I guess if you did lose this thing, you could, you know, you can even buy one at a drugstore, I think, these days right now for charging a cell phone, but yeah, there it is. Now, it does not come with USB-C uh, to USB-C that I can tell. It does have, of course, the uh, jumpers, and then they're a decent length, plus you can, you know, you plug it in. There's a little light on the side here that'll tell you, you know, show green when, you know, you're connected to the battery kind of thing. And also comes with this. Uh, this is a little odd. Yeah, uh, I sort of looked at the unit and it was like, what? The? Got a barrel plug here with a an adapter. But if you open up the side package here, if you can get it open, there we go. It does have the plug here for the jumpers. So now on the USB side, we've got. Let's see if I can get this open there. There we go. We got. Look at this. You got all the two. The two types of USB, also you've got the third one, which is of course the USB-C, and you've got a barrel plug. So you could plug the barrel plug in, and you could supply power to something that requires a, uh, yeah, cigarette lighter plug. I don't know, that's, again, like I said, I've, 
I don't really have any use for those, but uh, everybody seems to like putting them off. Comes in a nice case, so you can keep all your goodies in here. Keep this in the car, motorcycle, whatever, RV, whatever with you. And if for some reason you kill the battery, like this fella did last week with the motorcycle, uh, at least you can grab this thing, put the jump on it, start it back up. And they are calling car jumper, but it's rated to be able to start quite a few cars or trucks or whatever. So it's you know it's a good little unit, and it's not as expensive as some of them. So I like the price better. You know I, I really do. But my biggest number one complaint with some of them was uh, they some of them have this like hand touch thing where you just sort of do this business with your finger. And when you're out in the sunshine uh, on a sunny day and you're trying to jump a car or something and you're doing this and it's not working and you can't tell whether you got it on or not it's like oh it's like painful this i love it because it's a hard button just press the button bang it's on that's it you know so you know i thought let's see we'll try this oh of course we have a flashlight which you know at nighttime that's great you might need that and we have of course the flash i don't know if we can do the uh let's see if it'll do the sos thing there's the flashlight. Now I hit it again, and ah, there it is. Yep, there's the SOS signal, and then uh, then there's just a steady flash, and then of course the next mode, which I hold the button again, and yeah. But the whole thing is the hard button. I really do like these things when they come with a hard button because it's a lot easier to use when you jump over to something a battery, <clears throat> and you just have that hard button to hit to start the thing up. It's like it's just so much easier. I guess we're going to have to go outside and play with the Jeep for a minute and see if the Jeep will start. It hasn't been run for about six months again. Okay, we're outside. Uh, I went ahead and put the cables on the battery. And we had a green light. We now have a red light. So we'll turn this on at 100%. And I'm going to go hit the key and see if she'll start up on this, uh, this poor old girl. Well, there you go. She cranked her up uh, and she had a lot of trouble starting because she hasn't been running like six months or more. So that was pretty cool. Got her fired up and got her running. Now, let's see how what we got left for charge. It's still showing 100%. So this thing didn't even sweat it. That is awesome. Yep. Good tool. Good tool. <sighs> okay. So what a great tool. Uh, also, you can run laptops, that sort of thing off of it or cell phones or anything like that for emergency power. Besides having, you know, being able to jump just about anything that needs 12 volts because you can start uh, yachts and snowmobiles, uh, RVs, SUVs, <laughs> cars, trucks, whatever. Uh, diesel engines up to six liter. Also, it's up to 3000 amp current available, which is, uh, that's a lot of current. It uh, has 23,800 milliamp hours of storage. So it'll hold quite a bit of power. And there seems to, these things seem to hold uh, power for a very long time. The uh, Oh, also the packaging, look at this, you know, two pounds, and just in that, comes in that little case like that, and you can open up, and everything you need is in there to jump something off if you need be, so, and it's at a great price. I think it's around 67, 69, something like that, dollars right now, but hopefully we'll get a coupon link or a sale link or something from uh, D Popper, D Pop, D Pop Deer. Oh, I am just, these, some of these names are just driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, great little item and uh, after this I think we need to get into our draw because we're giving a nice saw away to somebody and start another draw because that's always a cool thing too so hey I invite you check this thing out it's great price and if you don't have one you should okay yeah <laughs> Well, this looks familiar. It's the Doberman Mini Circular Saw, and it's a nice, it's a nice machine. I got her all packed up back in the box, so we can get her into a cardboard box and get her on their way to you, whoever the lucky winner is. A viewer, a viewer is going to get this. Now I have the tickets. I put them in the uh, coffee can. We have quite a quite a good number of entries, several hundred, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> yeah. Apparently there was a lot of interest in the uh, Doberman uh, mini circular saw. Yeah, there'll be a link in the description below where you can find this uh, puppy. Oh. 
Now, let's see if we can get these tickets rolling. We had some uh, software issues this morning. Strange. Plus, I watched the, uh, the Starship takeoff. What was that? Number three uh, launch from Elon Musk in Boca Chica, Texas. Wow, awesome. Anyway, got a big old fatty ticket here. Oh, nice one. I think this guy has gotten something from me before. In fact, not that long ago. Oh, man. Conrad in Lafayette, Louisiana. Dang, Conrad, what you do? What did you do? <laughs> you got... You got some from Texas. Golly, you lucky devil, you. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyway, Conrad, congratulations at Lafayette. And let's put this up. And Conrad, we'll ship that out to you by, I guess, Monday. That'll be going out of here. In the meantime, I'm going to start another draw. So let's get this cleaned up, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is something I'd like to keep, but <laughs> I'm not keeping it. But this is the setup blocks from Vibor. Yeah, our favorite little show sponsor there. Uh, Vibor makes these setup blocks and they come in from 1 16th to 3 quarter inch. They've got these great little setup blocks and they're great, really good around the router, but I've even used them for this, you know, from the saw to get the saw blade to where it's exactly the right height on the saw to cut. But they're just a great, great setup block for any anybody that wants accuracy around the shop. This is a this is a good hot little item to have. Look at these sets. And again, there'll be a link provided in the description below. Man, we're giving these away. So, and it comes with the uh, setup block instructions. And I'll have to find a little box for these. Let's see how. And uh, warning, okay? Just tell us, saying that this cracked right here. I did that. See, you're getting a crack. <laughs> yeah, the case is broke. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah. That's why we can't have nice things around here. <sighs> Anyways, this is what we're going to give away. So, for the setup blocks, all you have to do is, let's see, one, uh, one entry per household, open to anybody, and just email us at ctrewards at gmx.com. Yeah. And let's see, for the subject line, uh, <laughs> that's right, setup. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an interesting word. And in the body of the email, just your name and address, like you're doing a postal return. All right, and that'll set that'll get everything in motion. We'll make up tickets like we just did in a couple weeks, and we will draw a name, and somebody, a viewer, will get a viewer setup block kit from us. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> in the meantime. We're going to say thank you for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell so you don't miss out on tools that we give away. Yes, we ship them right to your door. <laughs> I'm out of here. Over and out.